Alright guys, welcome back to part 3 of Hacking Minecraft. In this video what we're going to do is add hooks so that the mods we create can actually work. So, um, first off, we're going to go to the Minecraft.java class, open that up, and scroll down a little bit, doesn't really matter. I'll just do right here. Do private spike spike, or the name of your client, like whichever class this is for you. Um, so you're going to import that and you're going to scroll down a bit. I'm just going to search for this. Um, you're going to go where this dot in-game GUI equals new in-game GUI, GUI in game. It's in the start game method. So just go there and scroll down a bit. Um, so we're going to initialize the spike variable we just created. Spike uh, equals new spike so that this array list gets initialized. So, second what we're going to do is, I'm just going to search spike again. It should be in the run tick method, I believe it's called. If I scroll up, yeah, run tick, there's IO exception. Just scroll down a bit to where it says if k equals 1, um, right here. So what we're going to do is just do spike dot on key pressed and int k. You don't even need to change it because the parameter is already k in here. But um, you don't know the Minecraft Minecraft class. Just hit save all. You can close that, and you're gonna go to net minecraft dot entity. Go to entity player sp. So next thing you're gonna do is search. I'm gonna search for my note, and you're gonna go to on living update. I don't even need to do that. But um, so you need to do spike dot on update okay so lastly what we need to do is just go to the net.minecraft.client.render package go to entity renderer right here and go to where it says search hand in quotes underneath that do spike dot on render and that's pretty much it. It's not that hard. So, um, yeah. I'll see you in the next one.